Welcome everybody. Once again, it is Shield Maiden SA and I am here with a fun and exciting boxing unboxing that I think some of you have probably at least been waiting to see. It's going to be the Jeffree Star Banana Fetish Collection. Um, now I did get both the beauty bundle as well as the skincare bundle. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to get my hands on both of those. And so we're going to go ahead and talk about those a little bit today. Um, I do already have some foundation on, so when it comes to the to some of the skincare products, um, plus one of them was a body scrub. Um, so because of the fact that one of those was a body scrub, I will not necessarily have the opportunity to show you that, but I can at least give you a little more about that, let you see the product, um, see it maybe a little more up close than what you saw in the original video, and give you my thoughts on these items. So as always, if you enjoy beauty, if you enjoy unboxing, if you enjoy anything else you've seen on my channel, don't forget to go ahead and click the like and subscribe button down below. That way you are notified every time I get new content posted up here on YouTube. Um, also, don't forget to check down in the comments and that way you can also make sure that you are following me through all my other platforms so that you're not missing out on any other great content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get to what we're here for. And that's to talk about banana fetish. Um, so for me, um, many of you who've been watching me for a while know that I, you know, I, as you can tell, I'm very fair skinned. So, um, calling something a neutral palette for me is definitely kind of, it's a little bit tricky because even a lot of what are considered neutral palettes are a little bit too dark for what I prefer. So what I would however say though, is that I feel that the banana fetish palette because of the fact that it is based in yellows and browns is definitely a much more neutral palette for someone who is very light complected such as myself um but you know we're gonna play with it a little bit get your thoughts get my thoughts and we'll go from there um so as always yes i did go ahead and open my box when it first got here just to basically make sure all of the products showed up um in the condition that i would expect um of course a lot of it was packed in this wonderful yellow pink and white jeffree star stamped paper which i love that um like, I'm really liking the pink and yellow and the white. I really like that. I didn't end up getting any of the merch because I just wasn't crazy about it this go-around. Um, I have a lot of Jeffree Star t-shirts and hoodies and everything else, but for some reason this, this collection, the merch just didn't really speak to me. So I passed on the merch. But that's all right because I still got plenty of fun products. So the first thing we are going to talk about is the Banana Fetish Hydrating Moisturizer Hydrant. Like I said, I did open it just to make sure that nothing happened during shipping. Not that I expected it to. I've always been very fortunate, but I still like to check that so there are no surprises when I open it up for you guys. Um, so with this, once we get the little box open here, it takes me a minute to get my fingers in there. Um, you can see it, these packages are very, very well secured. Um, this is basically, it is set in a foam pack that goes all the way around to definitely help protect that packaging, which I can appreciate. Um, and I just kind of tip it upside down to get it all out. So like I said, yeah, when it comes out, it comes out in this full foam thing here. Um, I just popped that back into my box. And let's face it, this is really what we're all dying to see, right? Um, for me, the best part about this was when I opened it up and took a smell. Um, it reminds me of banana pudding pops. For those of you that are old enough to remember those. Otherwise, it's got a really amazing banana pudding scent. So yeah, definitely don't let your kids near this. They might try and eat it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's vegan and safe, but still. Um, so yeah, you've got this really heavy packaging. Um, I like on the back, it's got the little banana. Banana. So it's definitely on brand. Um, I do not have the other skin moisturizer from Jeffree Star, but I'm really excited I got this. Um, you can kind of, let me see if we can get where you can actually kind of see the product in there. The lighting might, there we go. Shade that just a little bit. That way you can see it. Um, like we said, it's a skin moisturizer. Um, that's exactly what I would expect. Um, and like I said, it smells like banana. Can't, can you really go wrong with that? Um, I mean, especially coming into the summer months, you know, something, you know, banana scented. It's just, it's kind of fun too. I mean, so back in the box you go for now because I am waiting to finish off my existing moisturizer. That way I don't have too many moisturizers and too many products open at once um, before I really dig into this. But that should be done in a couple days, so then I'll be able to move on to that. The other item, which was something that a lot of people were anticipating, is the Banana Fetish Body Scrub. Um, now, like I said, 
I do open these because I do not want to make I I don't want surprises for you because you're not here for maybe you are here for the drama but I'm not here for the drama of opening something up and finding out that I have broken packaging um I figure most of you are here to see the product see the package and see what it's what it's there for um so it's got the Jeffree Star in the yellow on the front then it goes to you know Jeffree Star skin where it's got that part your what you expect your Jeffree Star logo on the on the top shade that just a little bit there and then when you open it up it is it has your stopper so that way it keeps nothing from getting into the product it keeps it from getting contaminated oh it smells so good once again very this one gives me more of a like fresh banana ice cream vibe so like if you've ever gone somewhere like Sonic and you have gotten like their fresh banana ice cream milkshakes that's kind of what this smell reminds me of um, the other fun item in the skincare bundle that came with the skincare bundle was the lip mask that is one that we are going to go ahead and put on since I haven't put on any lip product today um, oh that's not the lip mask there's my lip mask there's my lip mask um, and this is so the Jeffree Star Banana Finish Repair and Revive Lip Mask. Um, it's in a box that's a very similar size to what you get when you um, get the lip scrubs. It's a little bit smaller than that box. Um, and th this one resealed on me, so hold on, give me a second. Give me just a second here to get a hold of that seal and get it reopened here. Or maybe not, or maybe it's going to be difficult. You know, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. And so, like we said, this is what we would expect, right? I mean, very similar to the packaging for the lip mask that from the original skincare launch, only it's in yellow. Um, very fun little packaging here. Um, oh, no, this one doesn't have a seal. Just stuck my finger right into it. Um, it's really not, it's not offensive. It's not overly strong. And like if you, like I said, that's why I wasn't sure because you see it looks very similar to how the seal looked on the, um, the body scrub. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this and put it on my lips. Oh, it's really nice and light. Oh, yeah. I can definitely see why people are living for this. Like, it's not overly sticky. It's not overly fragranced. Yeah, this is this is nice. Really, this is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to start keep using this more often because yeah, that that definitely feels really great. Especially, you know, we're coming up on summertime, so you know, being out in the sun, um, you know, being out in the heat, sometimes you don't necessarily want a heavy lip product on, and so something sometimes something like a gloss or even just a lip mask put it on it's going to bring out that natural color and that tint that your lips naturally have if you're going for something like that it's also going to keep you keep it hydrated um right we all understand how important hydration is so with that being said of course i do have the lip scrubs um i have not opened these yet because i've never had a problem with these not showing up the way they're supposed to but let's go ahead and open crack open um banana split here but this should be yeah this is this would be what i would expect from jeffree star um, in a banana pet fetish package, right? The yellow, it's got the velour lip scrub name right there on the front with the image. So yeah, um, does it smell like banana split? Let me open it up and find out. Mm. Eh, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to put this one back in its box for right now, though. I do have, I did get, like I said, the collection. So I do have the banana split the banana bunt cake as well as the um banana cream pie um like that i just need to finish off my current lips here i'm almost through my blue raspberry that i currently am using pretty consistently um it's almost gone and then i'm gonna probably pop open one of these bad boys so yes but like i said everything you know he takes so much time with these products not only on the packaging but on the fragrancing and you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's nice as a consumer to see that much care taken with the product. Um, so 
now let's go ahead and get into what many of you are here waiting for. Let's take a look at our eyeshadow palette. Like, I'm sorry, I really love this paper. This paper is amazing. The bananas, the stars, it's it's really on point. And like the bananas on here kind of remind me of Curious George. Anybody else? Curious George vibes? Maybe it's just me. Um, here is the palette. Um, it's still inside the carton. Um, the gold lettering, I kind of like that. That That's definitely something a little bit new. I don't think I've seen the gold lettering on any of the... And it's the raised lettering, so I do like that. And I actually really like the shape of this palette. Um, that was one of the things that really kind of spoke to me when I saw the reveal, and I haven't taken my sticker off or anything, is it's got like the the the, the, the corners cut out. I, I like that. Um, it's just kind of fun. Um, and then it gets us into this kind of fun octagon shape, which then carries through to the inside of the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and take off my protective film here. That way you guys aren't getting any weird glare or anything there. And that way you can kind of see these colors a little bit better. Um, and if you look at it here, now you can kind of see maybe where I was speaking, where this is a, maybe a little bit better neutral palette for me. Because some of these yellows are a little bit more, and the browns are a little more neutral tone for more fair skin. Um, so with that being said, I say we just go ahead and kind of dig on in here. Um, let me see, where do I want to start? Like, oh, well, first I should probably start with putting some primer on my eyelids. So let's start there. Um, this is one I've been using for a little while. It's the NARS um, eyeshadow primer. Um, still really happy with it. Um, I am, you know, I, for a while I was using the Kat Von D primer, which I did really enjoy as well. Um, this is a little easier to use. And it's really good for really gripping, especially some of your shimmers, things of that nature. So we're just going to get that on our actual lid. Because most likely if I decide I'm pulling a shimmer out of this bad boy, that's where it's going to go. Um, so I'm going to dip back into my primer here. And like I said, I'm the only one using my primer, so I am not against putting it right onto my lid like that. If you were doing this, of course... Um, on other people you may want to use like a q-tip or something else but yeah i will just dab it right onto my eye because well my eyes are the only one that's going near um so let's take a look here i think i'm gonna go ahead and start with size queen um which oh this is one i didn't even notice and i'm not sure if you guys can see it in this um if you look really closely the pans through the center row spell banana that is kind of cool i'm digging that um of course the others are stamped with the jeffree star logo but the fact that the center row spells banana i i'm i kind of th those are the kind of fun touches that i enjoy not everybody does um i think i'm gonna go ahead and start with size queen it's this pan here with the a it's kind of a nice chocolatey brown and i'm just gonna kind of go in and i'm gonna start just kind of putting that into the crease um, you know, not looking for anything too big, too bold, you know, like a, you know, like a nice Sunday afternoon kind of look, you know, but you do want to have just a little bit of something. And a little bit over here. This is actually a little more tan than I was expecting, but I'm not mad at it. Like, I kind of, I dig it. Um, now I have that there, I am going to take, however, um, this brush here. This is a 042 from Real Techniques. And I'm going to grab just a little bit of Certified Organic and kind of blend that up. Because like we said, we don't want anything too bold. We're just looking for something kind of simple. just to kind of create a little bit of that separation. I may even go in and add like another darker shade into that crease here in a minute. 
just to give the crease definition. Um, and we're blending. And we're blending. Uh, the other thing I do enjoy about his palettes, even especially with palettes that are a little thinner so they're easier to hold, but the mirrors on these are so good sized. Like, you can never go wrong with the size of the mirrors in these palettes. Because they're always going to be really, really good sized, and they're, it's definitely going to allow you plenty of space to see what you're doing. And yeah, I do think I am going to go in... And I'm just going to add actually a slightly darker shade. I'm going to go ahead and add in some Sunday Service into the crease. Just to kind of darken it up a little bit. Let me take a look here. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like that. I get that deeper into that crease. Then I think I'm going to go in and I'm going to build a little bit out with Size Queen. So let me just finish getting this packed in. We'll basically have it like a three shade transition. I haven't done one of those in a while. So I'm going to grab this orange brush here. This is from Beauty Creations. I don't even think it has a number on it. But I like it. It's it's very similar to the... Um, it's a little bit bigger, smaller than the um, Real Techniques 042, which is why it's going to be good for getting kind of in between these two shades and kind of bringing them together. There we go, just kind of brighten it up a little bit. And we're blending, and we're blending. I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna blend just a little bit up here, there we go. And with that being said, we are just going to go into the corner here just a little bit with some of that Sunday service as well. Because I'm about to go in with some yellow, and yellow is kind of a bold color. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just a little bold. Um, And with that being said, being kind of a bold color, sometimes you need to swing a little bit darker on the corner so it doesn't get too overwhelming. Like I said, just going to add a little bit more in there in the crease where it kind of faded out just a touch. Um, so you can see we kind of built our browns up here, and it, there's a little bit of a yellow tone to those browns. Um, there really is. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I, I dig it. Um, to add just a little bit more there. All right. Now, I think I am going to go in with shade Banana Fetish which is the in and the banana. Um, did I not grab a flat brush? Oh, I didn't grab a flat brush. Oh boy, that was my bad. Um, I can make this work though. Um, or do I have an extra brush sitting around up here? Do I have any extra brushes hanging out up here? No, I think I actually, for a change, have them all where they're supposed to be, being cleaned in the bathroom. Um, I'm sorry, I can make this work. I'm just going to do a quick brush off here. There we go. Grab some banana and just start kind of building here in the center. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's my girl. That's our shade right there. You know, I hear people say things like, oh, I can't wear yellow. I can't wear, well, why can't you? Of course you can. Like, it's a choice. Now, I'm not saying, like, I would wear a whole yellow outfit, but I think definitely grabbing some yellow with some browns, it breaks up a good neutral look. And like we said, it's, you know, you can... You can still be bold and still be semi-neutral or a, you know, a more neutral look. Even going with a color like bold like a yellow. Um, okay, I do need to blend this side just a little bit more because we got a little crazy. And so we lost some of our um, Sunday service. There around the corner. Now, of course, another thing I do also, let me take a look here, bring just a little bit more of that in. And we are going to go ahead and just touch that up just a little bit, just to get a little more definition. there I think we might need to add a little more on this side of our banana fetish and I'm just gently tapping to kind of pack the color in and of course in the in the crease I like to add that highlight Oh, hold on, we need to need to blend a girl out here just a little bit. There we go. There was a little bit of primer that didn't get smoothed out there, so we're just gonna take and kind of blend that out just a little bit. So we can have that weird like white spot. So now I think I'm going to step in to grab some, I think I'm actually going to go with vitamin P right here in our center row and just get that here in the corner just to add a little bit of shimmer. And actually, I may just use my finger to do that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use my finger. Like I said, once again, I'm doing this on myself, so I'm going to use my finger to do this. Oh yeah, that, see that is a really nice corner highlight. Just a little bit more there. Okay, I got a little crazy on the other eye, so let's just add a little more over here. There we go, so we've got that nice corner highlight. Um, I am going to go in and just probably just kind of just do a little smudge here. Once again, with Sunday service. Um, that's a really great brown shade, I think, for me. If, it's, if you're going to go dark and you're going to add a smudge, I think Sunday service is probably a good color to go with. You just smudge it in there on the lash line. Try not to make funny faces on the camera. All right. So we've got that part done. Now we're going to add a little bit of eyeliner. And for that, one, I'm going to put my protective layer back on.
close that bad boy up. Slide it back into the box for now. And since Jeffree Star hasn't started putting out eyeliner yet, um, I'm going to go ahead and just go in with my ColourPop. Oh, this is actually numero uno, not grande, but that's okay. We can make this work. Um, and I am going to need just a slightly smaller mirror for this, um, just to add a little bit of, a little bit of oomph. I'm just very, very quiet while I'm getting this done because, you know, otherwise it's going to go crazy and, you know, because what have we discussed on this channel? You know, your winged eyeliner can smell your fear. So as soon as it knows you're nervous and afraid, it's just going to go all over the place. It's, it's going to be crazy. You're not going to be able to salvage it. You know, next thing you know, you're just going to fill in the whole thing with black and you're going to call it a day. But if you take that minute, take a deep breath, you know, you wing that bad boy like, like Wolverine and you call it a day. And they may not look identical, and that's okay too. And sometimes you just gotta dab, 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 make the line meet. Okay, there we go. They're a little bit closer to being symmetrical. Okay, we're just gonna call that a day before I go crazy. There we go. Now, of course, one of the things that we know came with the beauty collection of this were the new mascaras. Um, so we have the lovely F proof mascara in a chocolate brown. And you know this because of which version it is because it has the lovely um, little whip at the end. We're going to go ahead and put that on our tops. Because why not, right? Oh, don't go blurry on me. I'm just getting my mirror. And this is a mascara I really do enjoy um, because I don't know of any time when waterproof mascara is not appropriate for everything. I mean, I guess maybe if I'm wearing lashes like falsies, maybe I don't, but I do like this brown shade. Um, it's a little darker than the brown that we got with orange, with um, pricked. It's a more of a darker brown, so like, you know... Those of us with really dark hair and really light skin, you know, hey, this is the shade for us. Or just people that have really dark hair like like me, you know, hey, this is probably the brown we want if we don't want to go black. And I have several black mascaras, you know, so sometimes having a brown to throw in the mix is just kind of nice. Put some variety in. And oh, I need to fix part of my mascara here in the inner corner. That's why it wasn't looking right. It's my inner corners that are tweaked out, not my outer corners. Silly girl. There we go. There we go. That's a little more symmetrical. Um, I think I am going to go in 
I, I, I debated on this for a while. I think I'm going to use just a little bit of the yellow on the bottom lash, though. Um, I mean, why not, right? I mean, we've already got yellow eye eyeshadow on our lids. There's no reason we shouldn't be wearing yellow mascara, too, right? There's, there's nothing in the rules that says we can't do that. And once again, F-proof mascara formula, so it's waterproof, like... And I can tell you from, you know, my use of the others, because I have the original, I have the original in black. Um, I did order, get the collection when Pricked launched um, in the brown, the blood orange, and there's another color that I can't think of right now. So feel free to comment below and remind me what that color name is. And this yellow, like, isn't a overpowering yellow so that's kind of good there we go just gives those la bottom lashes a little bit extra I'm trying not to do something painful, like, you know, blink. I need to get just a little bit more for this eye. So that kind of thing is, if you have really dark lashes, um, you will have to layer this a bit. Uh, not in a bad way. It just is what it is, right? There we go. So if you look really close, you can see I've got a little bit of yellow there on the bottom. I'm going to put just a little more chocolate on the top because on this eye, I did smudge it a little bit um, with the yellow while I was trying to get that all squared away because it was taking just a little bit, a little bit more time to get that evened out. But yeah, this is a formula that I swear by. Um, I live in an area that's really humid in Texas. Um, so there's never been a time when I've had weird raccoon eyes because my mascara started to run because of the humidity or anything. As you can see, it's layerable. So, you know, you kind of build your mascara up as it encases your lashes. All right. Um, now, one thing I realized that we did not do, which I'm probably going to bring out the... Um, eyeshadow palette back where we didn't highlight. I should probably do that. Let's, let's, let's add a little bit of highlight here because there's lots of great shimmers in here that you can use that for, uh, which is another reason why it's a really great versatile neutrals palette, in my opinion. Uh, because like I said, yes, I have yellow eyeshadow on. Yes, yellow is a bright color, but as you can see, it's not intrusive. Um, in the It's all in how you, you pair it with the other shades, right? Um, so we're just going to grab our Real Techniques 045. I would just grab in with Never Better and just highlight with that. I'm just going to grab a little bit of it here. Just add that nice little shimmer. Oh, that's actually kind of fun. It's kind of a little like almost like yellow green shift, which is kind of fun. And let's go ahead and add just a little bit on our cupid's bow. A little bit. Right along the brow bone. Just a little bit there. All right. And now let's pick a lip color. Um, I'm trying not to do anything too crazy with the lip at this point because, like I said, you know, I know there is the Easter Sunday shade that was a limited edition shade. Um, or is a new shade, sorry, um, with the Velvet Trap collection. But I'm actually thinking... 
rather than going that route, I think I'm going to just go with a gloss. Um, so I'm going to actually go all the way back to our Pink Religion collection, bring out Pink Roses, and And that's that, folks. Um, you know, like I said, just a nice, soft, neutral lip. Let the eyes do the talking for you. And call it a day. So, you know, hey, what do you guys think? What, you know, is this what you would expect in this palette? Were you excited for this collection? Um, are you still waiting for yours to arrive? Go ahead and feel free to comment below. Um, let me know what else you'd like to see. Um, I have a few things I still need to unbox, um, so I'm trying to get caught up on that still. Um, but that way we can bring you more content very, very soon. So guys, like I said, if you enjoy this type of content, feel free to go ahead and like and subscribe down below. Like I said, that bell's the key because that key is going to definitely make sure that you are alerted anytime I have new content up on my channel. So for now, everybody, this has been Shield Maiden SA. For now, as always, fly those geek flags high, signing out.